Take care. Hey, Carl. So we do have now a new video of President Putin released by the Kremlin just uh, this morning. It shows him talking to a group of young engineers, but he doesn't at any moment mention the rebellion, the stunning rebellion that we saw over the weekend. So there are many suggesting that it may have been recorded before the weekend's events. We also have a new video of Defence Minister Shoigu uh, meeting with uh, his commanders, uh, making clear from the video that he is in charge of what Russia calls its special military operation, uh, Carl. But again, it is mute and uh, there is no mention of the rebellion. So again, there is speculation about whether that video, while it's been released today by the Russian Ministry of Defence, whether it was in fact recorded uh, before the weekend. All of this, uh, you know, painting a picture of the Russian government uh, trying to uh, sustain an image of business as usual, when, of course, what happened over the weekend was far from usual, uh, absolutely uh, stunning. We, we saw uh, the leader of that Wagner group, that uh, mercenary group, uh, try to head towards Moscow here, getting uh, a long way down the freeway towards uh, Moscow, threatening to try to uh, unseat the, leader, uh, the leaders of uh, Russia's uh, military and then turning around with this deal, uh, apparently put together by the leader of Belarus, uh, President Lukashenko, uh, to uh, have him go into exile there, a deal that, uh, according to uh, Russia, the Russian government, was agreed to uh, by uh, President Putin. Carl, just think about that. that. That is stunning. President Putin, who uh, on many occasions in the past has been known to reach out and try to help autocrats around the world needing the help of a leader from outside Russia as Russia lurched into uh, crisis. Uh, we have heard this morning from the foreign minister, Minister Lavrov, uh, saying that the U.S. ambassador during all of these events did uh, reach out to reassure Russia that the U.S. was not in any way playing any role and also looking for reassurance about uh, Russia's nuclear uh, stance, its nuclear capability. Remember, Russia has around half the world's uh, nuclear uh, warheads. So unexpected events. And I think, guys, the reality is that we do not know what to expect in the days and weeks ahead. Uh, Russia has uh, stepped back from the brink, if you like, from the potential for a, some kind of a, a civil war. But what happens now, I think that is yet to be seen.